Beyonce was previously left disappointed and angry after unknowingly wearing the $30 and Tiffany blood diamond. The Tiffany diamond at the center of the backlash was dug from the De Beers Kimberley mine in Colonial, South Africa in 1877 when black laborers were forced to work in horrendous conditions for minuscule pay. The work was dangerous and unhealthy, with workers forced to work in cramped conditions, often causing fatal accidents. Conditions outside of the mine were no better, with the housing for the workers, featuring no natural water or waste disposal, with 1,144 dying from a range of illnesses including pneumonia and scurvy between 1897 and 1899 alone. Traditionally, a blood diamond, also known as a conflict diamond, is any gem that has been mined and sold in order to fund military action against a government as defined by the United Nations. Prior to Beyoncé, the massive yellow diamond had previously only been worn by four women, Mary Whitehouse, Audrey Hepburn and Lady Gaga. The gem, which is said to be worth $30 million, according to estimates from Tiffany & Co. was purchased by the jewelry company's founder, Charles Louis Tiffany, for just $18,000 back in 1878, one year after it was discovered in the Kimberley Mines. When it was discovered, the rough gem was 287.42 carats, however after it was purchased by Tiffany, the stone was taken to Paris where the brand's chief gemologist, Dr. George Frederick Kunz, had it cut into a cushion shape, so as to better show off its flawless quality. Despite a handful of iconic starlets having tried the diamond on for size, Beyoncé and Jay-Z's shoot marks, the first time the diamond has ever been featured in a campaign which has only helped to add fuel to the fire as far as its contentious background is concerned. While there is controversy surrounding the Tiffany diamond, now Tiffany & Co. insists that all of its diamonds are conflict-free, explaining on its website that the company is committed to a an initiative called the Kimberly Process, which aims to prevent blood diamonds from entering the mainstream market, and which was named after the same mining colony where the brand's infamous diamond was first found. Despite these measures, Blood diamonds are still a major issue within the jewelry industry, with Amnesty International revealing in 2015 that children as young as 11 were still being put to work as slaves in diamond mines in the Central African Republic, CAR. Blood diamonds have funded brutal wars in countries such as CAR, Angola, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Liberia and Sierra Leone over the decades, resulting in the death and displacement of millions of people. Beyoncé is not the only celebrity to have been dragged into the blood diamond controversy over the years. In 2010, supermodel Naomi Campbell told a war crimes tribunal that she had been given several blood diamonds by an African dictator in 1997 while attending an event in South Africa that was hosted by Nelson Mandela. According to the fashion star, who is now 51, she was awoken in the middle of the night after the event and handed several rough stones by a man who was working for African dictator Charles Taylor. She described how she was asleep when two men knocked on the door of her room and handed over a package. I was sleeping and had a knock at the door that woke me up. Two men were there and they gave me a pouch and said, a gift for you, Campbell told the unspecial court for Sierra Leone in The Hague. I went back to bed. I looked into the pouch the next morning. I saw a few stones, they were very small, dirty-looking stones. I'm used to seeing diamonds in a box. If someone had not said they were diamonds, I would not have known they were diamonds. Campbell then gave the stones to the director of Mandela's charity, Jeremy Ratcliffe, who kept them for 13 years until handing them over to police in 2010 after the model's testimony at the war crimes trial. Tiffany's yellow diamond has been an influential piece of jewelry and has even been a pop culture reference in a range of films. Kate Hudson wore a replica necklace in the film, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Similarly, the stone has influenced other jewelry pieces, such as the diamond necklace worn by Anne Hathaway in Ocean's 8, or Kate Winslet's Heart of the Sea necklace in Titanic. It is clear that this enormous diamond is a celebrity in itself, and has remained a permanent fixture of fashion culture for nearly 150 years. Will the Tiffany diamond ever be sold at auction? We have no idea, but it's highly doubtful. Charles Louis Tiffany meant for the diamond to be enjoyed by the public, and it's been on display in some form or fashion most of its life. It was playfully put on sale for 24 hours in the New York Times for $5 million, about $25 million today, to anyone who could come up with the money.
Tiffany was poking fun at the limited edition sales other retailers frequently marketed. The Tiffany diamond has remained largely on display at the Tiffany's store in New York City. After the passing of a brilliant Tiffany's designer, Jean Schlumberger, the diamond was set in one of the designer's most celebrated creations, a brooch called Bird on a Rock.